Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. 1.10 1.10 Medication Safety Open Resources for Nursing Open RN Now that the basic concepts of medication onset, peak, and duration have been discussed, it's important to understand the value of the therapeutic window and therapeutic index in medication administration. Therapeutic Window For every drug, there exists a dose that is minimally effective, the effective concentration, and another dose that is toxic the toxic concentration. Between these doses is the therapeutic window where the safest and most effective treatment will occur. Think of this area as the dosing sweet spot. See figure 1-7 where you have warfarin and toxicity causing bleeding and warfarin subtherapeutic causing clotting. For example, Warfarin, brand Coumadin, is a medication used to prevent blood clotting and is monitored using a blood test called INR. Too high a dose of warfarin would cause the INR to increase above the therapeutic window and put the patient at risk of bleeding. Conversely, too low a dose of warfarin would cause INR to be below the therapeutic window and put the patient at risk of clotting. It is vital that the nurse frequently monitors INR levels for a patient receiving warfarin to ensure the dosage appropriately reaches the therapeutic window and does not place the patient at risk for bleeding or clotting. Therapeutic window. For every drug, there exists a dose that is minimally effective, the effective concentration, and another dose that is toxic the toxic concentration. Between these doses is the therapeutic window where the safest and most effective treatment will occur. See figure 1.7. Think of this area as the dosing sweet spot. So in the image, you see a therapeutic window with bleeding on the top and clotting on the bottom with warfarin and vitamin K levels uh, indicated. For example, warfarin Coumadin is a medication used to prevent blood clotting and is monitored using a blood test called INR. Too high of a dose of warfarin would cause the INR to increase above the therapeutic window and put the patient at risk of bleeding. Conversely, too low of a dose of warfarin would cause the INR to be below the therapeutic window and put the patient at risk of clotting. It is vital that the nurse frequently monitors INR levels for a patient receiving warfarin to ensure the dosage appropriately reaches the therapeutic window and does not place the patient at risk for bleeding or clotting. Peak and trough levels. Now let's apply the idea of therapeutic window to the administration of medications requiring the monitoring of peak and trough levels, which is required in the administration of some IV antibiotics. It is important for the dosage of these medications to be titrated to achieve a desired therapeutic effect for the patient. Titration is often accomplished by closely monitoring the blood levels of the medication. A drug is said to be within the therapeutic window when the serum blood levels of an active drug remain consistently above the level of effective concentration so that the medication is achieving its desired therapeutic effect and consistently below the toxic level so that no toxic effects are occurring. A peak drug level is drawn at the time when the medication is being administered and is known to be at the highest level in the bloodstream. A trough level is drawn when the drug is at its lowest in the bloodstream right before the next dose is given. Medications have a predicted reference range of normal values for peak and trough levels. These numbers assist the pharmacist and provider in gauging how the body is metabolizing, protein binding, and excreting the drug, and assist in the adjustment of the prescribed drug doses to keep the medication within the therapeutic window. When administering IV medications that require peak or trough levels, it is vital for the nurse to time the administration of the medication according to the timing of these blood draws. Therapeutic index. 
Therapeutic index is a quantitative measurement of the relative safety of the drug. It is a comparison of the amount of drug that produces a therapeutic effect versus the amount of drug that produces a toxic effect. A large or high therapeutic index number means there is a large therapeutic window between the effective concentration and the toxic concentration of medication, so the drug is relatively safe. A small or low therapeutic index number means there is a small therapeutic window between the effective concentration and the toxic concentration. A drug with a narrow therapeutic range, that is having little difference between toxic and therapeutic doses, often has the dosage titrated according to the measurements of the actual blood levels achieved in the person taking it. For example, patients who start phenytoin to control seizures have the drug levels in their bloodstream measured frequently. Critical thinking activity 1.10a or 1.10a. Mr. Parker has been receiving gentamicin 80 milligrams IV three times daily to treat his infective endocarditis. He has his gentamicin level checked one hour after the end of his previous gentamicin infusion was completed. The result is 30 micrograms per ml. Access the link below to determine the nurse's course of action. The link takes you to therapeutic drug levels in Medline. Based on the results in the above patient scenario, what action will the nurse take based on the result of the gentamicin level of 30 micrograms per ml? Answer. The normal lab values of gentamicin are 5 to 10 micrograms per ml, or 10.45 to 20.90 micromoles per liter. So 30 micrograms per ml is too high. The abnormal result could indicate the patient has renal impairment affecting metabolism and excretion of this medication. The doctor and pharmacist should be notified to adjust the next dose of gentamicin before it's administered. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.